everybody. Welcome to Uru. So this is going to be here. Just try to ignore it. It allows me to see my time and stuff. But today we're playing Uru. Um, this is a game that I want to do, and uh, in the future there will be updates on this game. What I mean by that is like I will be walking around in Uru. Um, just talking about what's happening with the channel and stuff. I'm gonna go get some headphones real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So what I did was I'm using a cord that disables the microphone on my headset until I can get a better microphone. So now I'm going to see to the volume on the game, and we're going to create a character. So first, let's see... Let's say right about there. Right about there, and what I want to wear for my head is let's go with what we've got right now, and then let's just leave it with this my hair tint, then I'm a fire mage. Let's go with a little bit of red and then kind of bleed it into brown. How about we say that? Alright, then let's go to face. It's kind of um, let's see, texture one. Let's turn the age down a little bit. There we go, much better. It's kind of like Sims a little bit. Alright. Uh huh. Alright, does it? Same out right there, nose length. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Pinocchio! Uh, that's about right there. I have a big mouth. <laughs> uh, let's go about right there. Uh, a little bit higher. Like that. And then. I'm gonna wear some goggles just because I want my goggles. Um, let's make the glasses or the goggles red, and my eyes will stay the same color. Let's go back to upper body. Now, if this max, if this timer hits four hours, then I have to stop because that's the max time I have. Usually on recordings, I'll have one hour long things, so I probably won't go over limit. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Pull over, which is then. All right, let's give it red and then the zipper will make it bright gold. I like that. And let's do this and then make it blue. Hmm, let's take some khakis. And then let's make it black or gray. And the belt can be a gold tint. Feet. Let's make it 
So leave what it is, and I like the white. Let me change it to a little bit. No, let's keep it white. All right, I think we're good here. Um, as you go along in the world, you will find other things that you can pick up and different clothes you can wear. So let's get in. I'll be right back. City will grow again someday. These are the controls. I may have to uh, do some. Okay, never mind. We're good. And then I like first person, but whenever I'm. Yeah, okay. So, this I've already played this game like five times. It's really fun, in my opinion. And there's an online mode that I may go into later on if I get someone to play with. But, there really isn't much to do unless you're on online mode and you've got, like, other player roles you can play on. So, I love the music, by the way. It's really nice. Um, you really just kind of have to uh, explore the world at a momentum that you can. And since I've played the game, like, seven times through, my phone has, like, all the uh, solves and stuff like that. Um, and if I can't remember something, I'll have to look it up at some points. Um, and that'll probably be in between recordings and stuff. Um, but this guy has something that we need to, uh, hear. So, let's listen to him. Hey. Welcome. So, uh, I'm Zandy. I probably know more about why you're here than you do. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You felt drawn here, just like the others. Now, I'm not really here to give you answers, just to give you help and get you started. She's left a message for you in the cleft. Listen to it well. Follow her. Find the journeys. And then enter the tree. actually go into the cleft, which is right here, this thing, really cool, and it takes the form of something else, so let's, okay, I can't push this way, 
Oh, that's right. Okay. So, let's go get this dirty cloth on the back of his, uh, car? Or trailer. You can call it whatever one you want. You won't ever come back here once you finish this place. Um, because you have to go, you have to, once you finish the first pack, um, there are multiple uh, packs to the game. Uh, y you have to um, finish the first pack entirely to come back here. And then once you come back here, she'll give you something and you'll be able to do stuff. I'm gonna, uh, for now, I'm gonna relate her to the person that we're talking to in Tender. We're talking to as she, for now. Um, if you don't know what Riven is, I'm gonna do another gameplay from this later on. This is the telescope that looked into the rift back in Riven, so that someone could observe it to see how much Riven is stabilized. I may get into more detail into this later on, and I will have Uru walks uh, at some points in time that will explain the channel, what's going on, stuff like that, and other Mist-related stuff, because Mist I'm kind of obsessed with, so... Uh, one of the mods I have for Minecraft is called Mistcraft, and it's a really nice mod. Um, it actually does a lot. It's... You need a beefy computer! Like, I'm just gonna put that. Um, if you don't have a computer, just don't, like, if you create it with the world, wait on the world a little bit, and it'll everything will lag for you. Um, but it will lag your computer if you don't have enough RAM. So, RAM is a lot. Okay, now that we're done with up here, I got that cloth over there. We got regional class up here. Journey cloths, journey cloths, I mean. Um, what you have to do is unlock this thing. Get the other journey cloths down here. So, you can notice this animation is around what looks like Gmod and other stuff like that. It's because it was kind of made in the same time. By that, I mean 2003, I believe. And the break, which is kind of annoying. Um, but it's part of the game, so I gotta deal with it. And kind of explore the cleft. Let's see if it has no side steps, alright. We go this way. This is the tree that he was talking about. Um, up here. We can get back, uh, other ways and stuff, but for now we gotta go over here. Um, I believe we need power for us to do this. Yeah, we do. Alright. Uh, was there anything in here important? Was it this? No, okay, this is just a little storage room. So, this is going to be kind of me just re-exploring the game, and also at the same time me giving a walkthrough on it. Um, me re-exploring the game being because this is a game that I've played many times already, I've already told you that. But, this is something that's kind of just been in my life since I was like seven, maybe? My dad introduced me to the game, missed the third game. Exile, uh, it came out after Riven and Mist. This is just a recap on the Atris talk. I will use them to bring me the least impossible. What I have learned must be retained. How lies Bert Burden is mine? Oh, now lies. I don't know, I don't know that last one. Um, I think Atrus's goggles should be... Yep. Alright, we're gonna wear these from now on. Just because I like them better. Than the normal goggles. So. Let's see. 
said cloth, but I can burn. Nope. Okay. As I say cloth. <laughs> Here's our fourth journey cloth. I said cloth, probably because this was here. Um. Observe it sounds like I'm switching around a lot. For my birthday, I'm going to be getting a desk right now on the floor of my room. So. A desk and a chair. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want to go down there. This is a archway that's kind of just annoying in the game. Uh, recently, people who have come out with uh, this in the Mist series have come out with Abduction and Firmament. I have not played the Abduction, and I'm hoping to get Firmament, which has not come out yet. So, I'm going to be doing the Kickstarter, probably. No power. Again. Hmm. What's there? Alright. So, first, we can't literally do anything until we get power. So, the first thing we want to do is unlock this. And the fan is up there. So now, we can go... Use the power. There will be a lot of ladder climbing if we're in the cleft. So, yeah. Also, for some reason, there is a broken piece to the game, and I cannot complete the third pack. Once I am able to complete the third pack, I will make videos on that. But for now, we're just going to be doing pack one, two, and three up to the point I can. So. Yeah, at three is actually pretty complex, and you'll see why. I don't like the third pack for that reason. And also, the second pack is also very complex. Um, reason being is because you have to find these markers, and the markers are scattered around the place. I'm gonna refer to them as place until we actually you all actually see what I'm talking about if you have not played the game before. And people who are seniors to this game will be bad at me, because <laughs> I'm referring it to as places and not as what they're usually called. So I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate on this video if I get a pop get as popular as I So let's go down. Not many people make videos on this game, mostly because when this game came out, it was l early in YouTube's life. And it wasn't as popular as it used to be. And I'm sorry if the creators are here. I love this game. It's just, it was, it's not as popular as it used to, and when it was popular, YouTube really wasn't a thing back then, so... Now it is, and it's also having problems, so hopefully we uh, won't have any light issues. Okay, so now this button is glowing, so let's press it that. Yep. Can't use it. <laughs> uh, you're all like, oh, something's gonna happen. Nope. <laughs> so, cross shell turtle H. H. So, cross. And all of it's pretty much done. Except for this one. Boop! Denis, the city of ages of other worlds died. 
But now it breathes again. It awaits. Some will seek that destination, but you should seek the journey. It's as a fine tapestry, complex beyond comprehension, but now torn. We will show you remnants, pieces of the tapestry, pieces of the journey. Find these remnants, these journeys. Seven. Seven in each age. Seven here in the desert. Consider it a quest. No. A request. Worship. The water flows downward. And there it pools and collects and finally once again. It reaches the roots. And the tree begins to grow again. That was Isha. Let's grab this. And that was the person we were talking about. The her. And she referred to ages. Some of you may be like, well, that's just like a time. Um, no, it's not a time. It is a place. Uh, the Dunny civilization that she was talking about, and like, you know, no, they won't know Dunny because... They're from top. We know English, Spanish, and other things. I text, and so those are the two most relevant languages. Um, even though I know Italian, so uh, let's grab this one over here as well. Um, the Dummy, like I said, referred worlds as ages, and these ages. What I mean by that is, uh, they can make worlds at the whim of, of a pen on a piece of paper, kind of thing. Um, but not with a piece of paper, like a book. And the description books. Now, the description books, why am I going up here, are called something else in Dunny, and those are what you want to relate them to. The, you can find that in the, the books like the actual books that are from the story um that came out after uru uh you can find what it's called there um once you've written a world in this descriptive book placed a linking book on an empty page the world will be able to either come alive or come to life or basically hold on i'm climbing a ladder Make it sound like I'm actually in the game here. Um, or basically make a link to the world. Because you figure out that the Dunny don't actually have the power to make worlds. They have the power to establish links between worlds. And that's where the linking book comes in. A linking book is assigned to a descriptive book. Um, and then it's basically a copy of the link. The first game kind of introduced the prison books uh, a certain way, but then the fourth game also described the prison books a different way. So there, I'm gonna say this, and sign it may be listening, and they'll be like, you know, that's a good point, and they may steal it from me. I'm fine with that. <laughs> um. Uh. First game had a first a different a first type of linking book called or not really it's called a void prison linking book that's what I call it and it's where you've written the book a certain way to become this thing where if you link into it it's just a void and the person's trapped there and if somebody else links into the world that person who was there gets taken out and the person who linked in gets put in it um, and then in the fourth game, there's another one where if you go into the world with um, with a linking book back, 
uh, you go find a way to destroy the book while linking away. So that there's no linking book in there, and the people who go in are trapped there, but you've come back out. I'm. This is my theory, uh, like I said, Sion can use it, that the brothers were uh, transferred over. But there will be some conspiracy and conflict between that theory, mostly because um, Cyrus says many times over that he was trapped in that book for 20 years, which is the maximum time even for the Void books. But anyway, this is the first linking book you actually get, and you will keep it on you for the rest of the game as a hub for yourself. Now let's go. See, you will take it. Keep it on your side. Now this normally doesn't happen with books, with linking books, but this it does. It takes it with you. It's established a bond with you, kind of. Um, now Yisha's books are different than the actual, like, normal linking books. Instead of using description pages with dummy words and stuff, um, you have pages with art on them. Uh, this will look like a flat that you can open up, but since I haven't gotten any of those unlockable pages yet, I can't do anything. When you get one of those pages, it will add stuff to your island. Like a waterfall it will be here. Um, this was a good first episode. Usually I have hour-long episodes, um, not sure if that makes people mad at me or not, and it's live streaming. Not missing out on anything. Uh, but, yeah, I think this is a good episode. If you're wondering, I don't use a script, so maybe in the future, but I don't tend to use a script just because... I want people to know what I'm actually doing. Is this? Not a, oh, it does have a roof. Oh. I, just, I just unlocked all, all the pages in another game, so I thought I didn't have a roof for a second. Because there's one you can get an extender. Alright, here are the main books. One of these is a journal. I believe it's this one. Yes, this is the journal. So, it says this. Let's put first. Everything's in caps locks. That's all we're gonna do for now. It's basically just a journal. That's all it is. And then there's this one, which talks about the first, uh, the first pack, which is those things over there, which is the original game. And then this one, I believe, talks about the second path, which is the um, path of the. Uh, it's not path. No, it's not. It's something else. Something with Dunny in it. And then this is path of the shell. And it's basically got all the growers' inscriptions and stuff. And then over here, you have two linking books. And you unlock the linking books, um, except for the Nexus ones that will go into the Nexus Age. Um, and I'll tell you more about what that is. Uh, the, if you link into a world, it will appear in your hub. So you won't need the four pillars after you've gotten all the books, because they will appear... Here, 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 and here. There's actually five, but you discover the f fifth one in another one of the four ages. So this will be where the cleft goes. Or, yeah. And then this... Hold on, I'm, I'm stuck. Um, this age you cannot access because you have to do a certain thing in another age, which is the thing that I can't do, like I said. Um, the, one of these will be missed, the actual... Stage. I'm going five minutes over my normal time, I know, uh, well, my new normal time. Um, I'm just kind of explaining everything. This is the wardrobe where you can change your clothes and stuff like that. Let's open the windows. Okay. Um, the Nexus is one of the Dunny Ages. Um, there are, in the normal Dunny Age, there are little linking books everywhere, like, they'll be in here and stuff. And this is just another link to Dunny. Uh, this is the... Because they have that for the start of the Dunny. And then this is the 
start of the path of the shell. Uh, anyway, the Nexus has basically, it's just another one, it's like another form of this. You should not write it. Someone else did. Um, but we have Garrison, um, Cat Catastolis's Vault. Uh, it's not Teladon. Is it Teladon? Don't believe it is. I think that's from the fifth game. Um, and then we have the Ergiro Garden Ages. Um, but this was it for this game. I hope y'all y'all liked it, and I'll see y'all in a little while. Thank y'all for watching.